A Valley grain trader is among the many American farmers worried about new Chinese tariffs. Channel 5's Frank McCaffrey takes a closer look. Last week, the People's Republic of China placed a 25% tariff on soybeans imported from the United States. This is in retaliation for tariffs placed on imported Chinese goods. Octavio Garcia of Garcia Grain says it's a shot that hurts. Octavio Garcia sees a lot of international trade in his business. The Donna Grain Trader says he's tired of seeing the economic battles of the last year between the U.S. and a growing customer for the Valley Ag community, China. Trade wars don't don't benefit anybody. You know, maybe the outcome will, but uh, in the meantime, there's going to be a lot of pain. Garcia believes the trade war with China will have significant impact on the agricultural community in South Texas, specifically growers of soybeans. Garcia says he regularly purchases soybeans from the Valley for international trade. He believes China's new tariffs come at a bad time for his business and the local agricultural industry. It hurts the Rio Grande Valley because uh, those farmers that hadn't priced before this trade war get, got in are, are, are 20 percent, you know, the, the soybeans has dropped close to two dollars a bushel. That's a lot of money, you know, especially if you average 50 or 60 bushels. Garcia hopes these soybean farmers can get a break with harvest season approaching. He wants his business and valley farmers to avoid too much loss of business. He has a wish for our trade war. Disputes get solved and, 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 and get back to the, the real market values that these commodities should have. Channel 5 News reached out to the American Soybean Association in Washington, D.C. A spokesperson for the group, Wendy Brannon, tells us soybean farmers can be protected by federal assistance. Brannon says it's best for members of the agricultural community to speak up with their leaders and ask that the trade war with China be brought to an end and tariffs be rescinded before fall harvest season. She says many already have been speaking up. We have been asking the administration for their help and their support. The administration has said, hey, we do plan to take care of farmers. We don't know what that looks like. Most of these um, farmers are asking, hey, we want to be able to trade. But Brandon says our leaders need to hear more voices from the farming community. Brandon says you can contact your local members of Congress about ending the trade war. She adds you can also contact her group at soygrowers.com and then click the Soy Action Center button on the home page to send in your information. In the Channel 5 News studio, Frank McCaffrey, Channel 5 News.